Okay, we'll start with the definition of the cumulative distribution function. The cumulative distribution function of y is by definition the probability that y is less than or equal to y. And now in this case, y is equal to x squared, so we replace the y with x squared. And now the probability that x squared is less than or equal to y, um, we could just take the square root of both sides um, because x is an increasing function over the interval from x is 0 to 1. So we just get um, the probability that x squared is less than or equal to y is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to the square root of y, which by definition is the cumulative distribution function of x evaluated at y to the 1 half power. Okay, so now all we need to do is find the cumulative distribution function of x evaluated at y to the 1 half. Well, that's by definition the integral from the lower endpoint of the interval of 0 for the support of x is 0. And then we're going to uh, integrate until uh, t is equal to y to the 1 half, the PDF of x or PDF of t, which is 3t squared dt. And when we do that integration of 3t squared, we get t cubed, and we need to evaluate that at t equals 0 to t equals y to the 1 half. Well, doing so, we end up getting y to the 1 half cubed is y to the 3 halves. And then uh, t, when you put in 0, you just get 0. So we end up with uh, the cumulative distribution function of y is y to the 3 halves, and it's defined over the support of y, which is from 0 to 1. 